The Russian government has approved a list of countries that the Kremlin believes are hostile to Russia. The list includes the EU countries Australia, the United Kingdom, Iceland, Canada, Liechtenstein, Monaco, New Zealand, Norway, South Korea, San Marino, Singapore, the United States, Taiwan, Montenegro, Switzerland, Japan and Ukraine. All because most of these countries imposed sanctions on Russia after its brutal attack on Ukraine. On February 24th, in the morning, Russian missiles began shelling Ukrainian military sites and peaceful cities. Russia launched Iskander and Kaliber missiles. They flew from different directions, from Russia, Belarus, temporarily occupied Donbass and Crimea. Iskander complexes are called Russia's main weapon to deter NATO forces. According to various sources, they are capable of covering the distance of up to 1,000 kilometers, and they can even carry nuclear warheads. In just one day, February 24th, the Russians fired 63 missiles from the Iskander complexes across Ukraine. On the same day, the Kremlin struck with 12 caliber cruise missiles. They are maneuverable and are able to fly at low attitudes. This makes it difficult for air defense systems to bring them down. Caliber missiles were developed for ships and submarines. However, later they started launching them from aircrafts and ground installations, also from Iskanders. Caliber missiles can hit targets at a distance of up to two and a half thousand kilometers. They were first used in 2015 against the rebels in Syria, and already in 2022 they were launched towards peaceful Ukrainian cities. Such a missile hit the Kharkiv Regional State Administration. Such a rocket hit the Kyiv TV Tower. According to the Ukrainian Armed Forces General Staff, on March 1st, 16 air-to-ground missiles were fired at the city of Kharkiv from the 222M3 strategic bomber. The plane didn't cross the Ukrainian border. They launched missiles from Russian territory. To protect cities from airstrikes, Ukrainian authorities are asking the West to close the skies. Я звернувся про закриття неба, я звернувся до президента Байдена, я звертався до, мені здається, і до Шольца, Макрона. However, NATO and the EU are not doing this because they say it may lead to another escalation and drag them into conflict. Instead, they are giving weapons to Ukraine. Iskander missile system strikes at a distance of up to 1,000 kilometers. Caliber cruise missile can fly up to 2,500 kilometers. And now let's take a look at the map. Here is the Russian city of Pskov in the west. From there, a straight line to the Lithuanian Vilnius is 387 kilometers long. To Tallinn in Estonia, 280 kilometers. To Riga in Latvia, 274 kilometers. To Warsaw in Poland, 779 kilometers. Potentially, each of these cities could be hit by Russian missiles and the cruise caliber and those who launch Iskander. Russian missiles were also launched at Ukraine from Belarus, where the Federation had deployed before the invasion. And if the Kremlin decides to attack further, its missiles, hypothetically, could fly to Europe from the town of Brest, which is one de jure Belarusian. Look at the map. This is the town near the Polish border, only 200 kilometers away from Warsaw, 700 kilometers from German Berlin and little less from Prague in the Czech Republic and Vienna in Austria. Will Putin dare to attack NATO countries, especially given what Russia already said, dozens of countries are not friendly to the Federation. The alliance continues seem to hope for collective security, but those who are closer to Russia and Belarus understand that they may be the first to take a blow. And considering negotiations, Putin lies every day. He lies even in the way he lies recording fake videos.